parents think I'm a weirdo. I'm a god of war, you a guitar hero. So let's box like Tyson, you'll get punched so out. Guys, bad juice here. Uh, about to go pick up a uh, nice Nintendo lot for 80 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Um, he wanted a hundred and I offered a uh, 80. Hold on. He offered. He wanted a hundred. I offered 80. We met at 90. So I'm on my way to pick that up right now, and uh, I'll show you what we get. There's uh, a couple games I don't have, which is always a plus. So uh, see you in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back from this uh, NAS deal. Uh, I sat in this parking lot for a damn near an hour before this guy showed up. He kept texting me like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty close. Uh, I'm right down the street and then like 10 minutes would go by. The only reason I stayed is I checked his profile picture and what he said he drove and the company he worked for was listed on his Facebook that it was listed on his truck one day. So I got tired of it and I was pulling out the driveway and he finally pulled in. I'm like, it was so aggravating. And for my weight, I made him take off 10 more dollars, so I got everything for 80 bucks. We got a complete uh, NES action set. Still in the box, so the styrofoam is kind of rough. It's got holes in it and stuff, but it's all in there. I ain't going to take it out. You guys have seen a Nintendo before. And we got some games. Some of them cleaned up pretty good. We got a Castle Quest, and somebody decided to draw it over it. Steve Ping, you son of a bitch. I'm going to look him up and tell him to come over here and clean my NES cottages. We got Load Runner, which I don't have. So we add that one to the collection. We got this Wizard game. I can't remember the name, the first damn name. But yeah, it's missing the top label. That was one of the mystery ones. I didn't know what it was. We got Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lance. I think, pretty sure this is the cheapest one there is. We got uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. Always a good one to pick up. Ninja Gaiden. We got Immortal. We got uh, Legend of Zelda. You wrote his name on that one. I don't know how good that one's going to come off with the uh, gold cartridge, but we'll see. Gotta have the Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Happy to get this one. I do not have this one either. Tombs and Treasure. We got uh, Dragon Warrior. Uh, and the picture is kind of hard to see. I thought this one was Castilian, but it ended up being Crystallis. I was hoping it would be Castilian because I didn't have it, but it's still cool. We got Gunsmoke. You don't see that too often. I've come across it a couple times. I do got it complete in a box from the yard, though. So. We got Snake's Revenge. Double Dragon 2. We got the triple pack with the Mario Duck Hunt track meat. And probably the best game in here is uh, Monster Party. It's probably only the second time or third time I come across that. And the first time was a complete box from the yard sale. Epic pickup I had back in the day. So yeah, guys, for a not bad deal for 80 bucks, I wouldn't think. Peace. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. Uh, I got another pickup for you guys. I don't know if there's going to be any, like, just me sitting in the game room doing uh, any kind of footage because I've basically just showed you guys uh, what I've got after the pickup pretty much. Uh, I got a $30 pickup right here. I ain't cleaned nothing off yet. It's kind of dirty. This guy, uh, like, they own a bunch of properties around here and then they get stuff that people leave behind sometimes or whatever. So I made a new contact with him. So this is what I got for 30 bucks. Um, I didn't even know this was in here. It's a PC power pad. This thing feels like it weighs 10 pounds. 
I need to check to see if that's what's in here. It could be a surprise. So, oh, that's not what's in there. There's cards in here. Old baseball cards. <laughs> that's funny. And check them out. I knew it couldn't have been that controller. It was just too damn heavy. But then we're the cards are probably worthless. But in here we had a Sega Genesis. This stuff needs cleaned up. Model one. NES. No game in there. I got like 10 NES systems right now, guys. I need to get to it, man. There's, I'm bombarded with stuff. I don't even know what to do. Like I got a whole box of NES games I need to get rid of. There's systems over there. There's shit down there. I got a... Oh, yeah. There's a box of systems right there. I got a stack of NESs in another room. Probably about six or seven. Got one NES controller. Oh, we got the power uh, adapter. I didn't know that was in there. And we got an old Coleco controller. Pretty nasty. But the only reason I really got it was for the these box Genesis games. There's one I wanted. Oh, uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog. Complete. Got Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. That one's complete. They're a little damp, kind of, too. John Madden. No big deal. Wimbledon. I didn't look at all of them. There could be a different game. You never know. Got a Pitfall. Complete. And the reason I got the lot was uh, Battle Toads Double Dragon. And that is complete. So yeah, for 30 bucks, not bad. This needs a little cleaning up. And uh, I got a new contact. So if you ever comes across stuff, maybe it'll contact me first. That's how you do it. But uh, that's all I got for this pickup. 30 bucks, not too bad. I got cables for both the systems. I guess all I need is the, uh, I'll put some AVs with it, clean it up, test it out. I mean, I got, honestly, like 10 NES systems. I need to start bundling them and flipping them. I got games to go with them, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Edge is here. Currently on my way to pick up a really nice offer-up deal with a rare NES game in it and a bunch of mystery Sega games in the box, so. Pretty excited, but... It was raining some BS and started right when I left the house, man. Pouring down rain. Got a good uh, ways to go, too, so. I'll show you guys when I can. So, I'm really excited about this one, guys. Let's see what we get. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. Just got back from that offer up deal. And, uh, pretty stoked about it. I uh, got that rare NES game I'm wanting. Like I said, he was asking 120. I just offered 140 like everybody else does. I'm sick of missing out on deals. If it's worth it, I'm going to do it. So if you lowball or ask the asking price anymore, it ain't good enough. So if if it's worth it, ask a little more. Screw it. But I will go through uh, the systems I got first. We got an NES that has the hookups and controllers. We got uh, two PlayStation 1s, memory card. Got our original Xbox. We got a Model 2 Genesis with all the cords. We got a PS2. I'm not sure if everything has the cords or not, but I know the Nintendo and the Sega. Maybe the PS2 does for sure. We got a Nintendo DS in this Nerf case. I thought I was going to flip into I seen a crack there. It works fine, but... We'll see. I got a few like this. I might just lot them together and throw them on eBay for parts working, but needs parts or 
broken or whatever the hell you say. And uh, this right here, we got a Game Boy Advance. It's got a uh, head uh, Super Mario Land. The cool thing about this is. So it's the AGS, I think it's the AGS 101. It's a lit background, so it's definitely cool to get that. The only thing is, when I put, uh, charged it, like the port, it's either the port or my charger. I haven't found another one to test it, but you had to set it a certain way to get it to charge, so I might have to list that too. So, but yeah, these sell really good if you get the AGS 101s. So, I was happy about that. I might be able to get like 50 bucks for that. So, and a shocker. Always look out for these Game Sharks, man. I've all, I always sell them because I ain't gonna use them. But this Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Game Shark, sells for like sixty to eighty dollars. This little thing here, unreal. That's definitely getting flipped for sure. That's more than half my money back just on that little thing. Like. Both of them things is like I missed my money back. Not almost, but really close. All right, let's get to the games here. Um, these Sega Genesis titles, I could only see a couple, so I was like, "Man, maybe there's a Musha in there." You always got that feeling like there's some good, there's some good stuff in here, but nothing really, really crazy here. Got a Sonic Spinball. I think that's missing the manual. We got Chuck Rock 2. A lot of these are pretty complete. And the carts are minty shape. That's definitely a plus. Even got the hang tabs. Whoever had these definitely took care of them. They're just a little dusty and he wiped off. We got a Spider Man. It's got the manual and all the paperwork, as you can see. This is falling everywhere. I have technical difficulties. There's too much damn paperwork. Minty label. Got Joe Montana, 93. Mint. Got Terminator 2. with paperwork too. Sonic 2, that's no manual on that one. I got so many of those. We got a Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. This might be the one that's worth the most. Or second. It's got the manual. Cart looks nice. Let's do the loose games with them out of the way. We got a uh, Echo the Dolphin, Combat Cars, Toy Story, Lethal Enforcers, California Games, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Super Monaco GP, got a uh, Road Rash, love that game. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. This is usually sells for $15 all day long on eBay. All right, got that. That's my favorite Mortal Kombat game, too. I want the arcade machine of that so damn bad. We got uh, the Ren and Stimpy Show, Stimpy's Invention. All right. Slide these back in here real quick. The rest of the box games, we've got Tasmania. Complete Jurassic Park. Got Batman Returns. Got the paperwork. It's really rare to see like all the paperwork and the hang tab on Sega games. At least in my findings. Dracula. No manual on that one. Got X Mutants. Complete with all the paperwork and that one too. 
And one of the better ones, we got Thunder Fox, Taito game. And this one is complete and minty shape. That was one of the ones I could see, so I'm like, well, there's... The, this game and the other game was over $100 value, so I was like, I've definitely got to get this stuff, man. Add some cool stuff to the collection, of course. All right. Let's start off with uh, had some crappy PS2 games. There like really isn't a good one. Probably the best one's ATV Off Road Fury 2. And then we got some uh, Xbox games: Sega GT, Splashdown, Legends of Wrestling. Those have Lego Star Wars, Scooby Doo, Amps, and Star Wars 2. Lego. And uh, they get some NES games. We actually got a Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. I didn't have this uh, game, so it's pretty cool to get it complete. Because you know I'm in uh, complete NES games. So we got that. We got Top, Top Gun's second mission. We got the Little Mermaid. Super Mario Bros. 3. A lot of these are really clean, man. No writing on them. It's nice. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Sight bite. We got Barbie, which I don't have that one. That's exciting. We got Double Dragon. All right, have to pause for a second. We got a uh, Double Dragon. We got Solstice. Pretty sure I got that complete. If not, I don't have it. <laughs> we got uh, Spot the Video Game. I may not have that one. We got uh, Star Tropics. And the best two I got is uh, Robocop 3. That's uh, uncommon. I guess for about 30 bucks. And the game I really wanted out of all of them was Cool World. This is a harder to find game. goes for about $60 to $75. And it is in very nice shape. Really impressed with it. Happy to add that one to the collection. That was one of the main reasons I wanted this lot. But this is a... I got a real good deal on this lot. I did forget for the... Uh, Nintendo DS, I had a few more games, but I traded them in the GameStop because it was the same as uh, trade for the cash. There's a uh, Mario Kart, um, Mario Party, and shoot, there was another one. I can't remember which one it was, but I got like 40-something 40 40 dollars for them three games, so I was happy about that. So I'll definitely can make all my money back and get to add some cool stuff to the collection. That's what That's the main goal, guys. Thanks for checking out this clip. Uh, there'll probably be some added stuff in this video. So, uh, peace.